channel. So today's video I am going to share with you guys all of my Everlane shoes and also a little bit of styling in the end. So probably by now you would have noticed that I'm a huge fan of Everlane and that's just because I am a believer of their philosophy and I love their clothing pieces. All or most of the clothing items that I have purchased from them are really good quality and in fact they have become now a staple piece in my wardrobe as well. Um, that's not to say that I wasn't disappointed in some purchases because I did in the past which I ended up returning them. However, look, it's just probably one of those things that, you know, I feel like it didn't fit me well or I wasn't too keen of the cut or the design. But look, in hindsight, all of these items that I've gotten, they are really superb in quality. They are stylish. You know, you can style them with a lot of things. That's just endless, you know. So that's the reason as well why a lot of my everyday items I call as uh, staples because I can rotate them um, through all the seasons as well as use them in different stylings. So before I had my first purchase um, with Everlane in terms of shoes, I was a little bit hesitant just because I've read in a lot of reviews that your actual shoe size would usually be different from that of an Everlane size. And I do find that it does tend to be that way. Um, for reference, my usual size is a 6. So I'm a US or an Australian size 6, basically in most of the shoes. Um, but with Everlane, I feel like the size 6.5 is the best for me. Um, not to say though that I haven't risked trying out a 6 and a 7 because I did, but I ended up um, returning them in the past. Alright, so my first pair of shoes that I've ever gotten from Everlane is this black slip-on mules, which unfortunately is not available anymore. Um, yeah, I got this in size 6.5. And it's just your simple slip-on mules, but what I like about this is that the front of the toe is really pointed, which firstly, I think makes it even more interesting. And second, it adds a bit more formality to any casual wear. I find that you can actually also use this to work too. On to my next pair of shoes, which you would probably see me wear time and time again in my videos, and that would be this Everlane Day heel. Now, I love this heel so much. It's just, you know, the, the perfect combination of heel height, as you can see, it's a chunky block heel. It's probably about an inch or so, plus the color. So the name of this color is called Pecan's Tack, and the color goes so well with my skin tone that when I wear it with shorts, oh my god, it just gives an illusion of length. And as you know, I'm just five foot flat in height, so I kind of need that to boost up my frame visually. So, yep, another favorite, the day heel. So my next pair of shoes that I wanted to share with you is these Everlane glove boots. So you probably could see here that the material is kind of like a sock but a thick sock and um, you wouldn't believe that this is actually made out of plastic bottles and it's nine plastic bottles to be exact according to their website and it's just a beautiful well-made shoe now this thing doesn't need breaking in or anything like that you can wear it straight out of the box and, and just the color I could see myself style this over and over again during the fall and the winter season. So, yep, this is your Everlane glove boots. Last but not the least, I also have here with me is this loafers from Everlane. So, it's a very comfortable, cute pair of loafers. That, you know, what really draw me really is the color of it because it's, I find that the color is quite unique and the name of the color is Dusty Rose. So it has a slip on back here as well just to help with um, 
fitting in the shoe wearing it in and it's also a six and a half shoe which i find is perfect for me it's comfortable i can easily wear this on the go and yes without further ado let's get on to the video Wearing the black patent mules, I've decided to use one of my favorite thrifted items I've gotten in the past and it's this Armani Exchange jumpsuit. I probably have mentioned in one of my videos here but thrifting has been my way growing up when I was still in high school and in uni and some of the stuff I've gotten were either branded items and some that has lasted me for years. Most of it though I've already since left back in the Philippines when I came here in Australia, but I still do have a couple of thrifted items in my wardrobe. I was actually thinking of doing a video on this, so let me know if this is something you guys would like to see in the comments section. If you've watched my other videos, the Everlean Day Heel in Peak and Stack probably doesn't need an introduction anymore of all the times I've used it for styling. I feel like this could be anyone's go-to heels that can take you from work to play any time of the day. For my outfit, I have chosen this printed striped tee from Mango, which I've French tucked with my Everlane patch pocket shorts in the color Bone. This look is really simple, but elevated if paired with simple gold accessories. Out of all the Everlane glove boots, I was immediately drawn towards the color Toffee because I feel like it's rich, chocolatey brown shade can give me a lot of styling options. To make the boots more wearable for less colder seasons, like spring or autumn, I've decided to just go with a shirt and pants combo. Using my cotton on t-shirt, I have created a knot in the front instead of tucking it in to show other ways on how to emphasize the high-waisted pants that I have on. This pants is also from Everlane and it's their straight crop pants in sandstone. Overall, I feel like giving this shirt a front knot adds more dimension to this otherwise straightforward neutral styling. Last shoe would be styling my Everlane Day Loafers in Dark Rose. During my talking videos, I have mentioned that this was in the color Dusty Rose, but that it's actually Dark Rose, so my apologies for it. The color is already quite bold in itself, hence I wanted to downplay my outfit by wearing a gray shirt over denim jeans. This gray shirt is again from Cotton On and it has a similar material to the brown shirt I wore previously. They both are made out of 95% viscose and 5% elastane which is why the shirt has a drapey and stretchable feel to it, making it easy to tie into knots but slightly harder to tuck into. For this outfit though, it was still manageable tucking it in since I have used denim jeans which is a tougher material to hold the fluid-like drapiness of the t-shirt. My jeans are also from Everlane and it's one of their high-waisted skinny jeans. And there you go guys, that's it for another styling video today and hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on my social pages as well. Until the next time, bye!